Hello, I'm Manny Gonzalez, an author, motivational speaker, and retired counselor, a social worker, a therapist, which I did for over 35 years. I'd like to welcome you to my program titled Three Keys to Survive a Mental Meltdown. It's a workshop geared toward helping you minimize stress. The name of my presentation is Burn Your Bridges, Don't Look Back, which relates to my book, which I wrote in regards to my desire to share with you how do we deal with stress. After so many years of working as a counselor and therapist, I've learned what works and what doesn't work. And I have found that one thing that we're finding in our society nowadays is that so many people are living in fear, feeling so stressed out because there's economic problems to say the least, there's medical problems, there's general anxiety. In fact, do you know that the suicide rate has been climbing? People are so depressed, so anxious, so desperate. They get to the point where they don't know what to do. You ever feel like that? That you just have no alternative. You can't think of what to do. And unfortunately, there's people that actually take that unfortunate step and in their lives. However, there's so much we can do. There's so much available to make life worthwhile. And that's why in my book, as I talk about, we need to stop living in the past. There's so many things from the past that are excess baggage that keep slowing us down in life. They're like a ball and chain on our foot because there's so much hurt and pain. Sometimes there's blame, there's guilt, something we've done, someone has done to us. But there's so many different sides to our personalities, our minds. Do you know that absolutely no one knows exactly what you're thinking or feeling? We're all individuals, we're all so different, we all react differently. There's so many options we pick in life to go this way or go that way, say this or say that, don't say this, don't say that. It's confusing. And then you add so many things around us. There's fake news, as you know. There's so much we're told that may not be true. As a result, people are wondering, what is it that we can do to make life better? And even the Bible tells us things will be tough. There'll be no easy way out of this life or out of this earth. And in my workshop, Three Keys to Survive a Mental Meltdown, I speak of those helps, those things that'll make it easier for all of us to get along in life a little better. There's a spiritual aspect of life, which is my first key. Look at your insides, look at your mind, your soul, your spirit, the way you think. Organize that. We need discipline in our minds. And that leads to believing in something, trusting, relying, depending on who? Nobody else but God. Don't trust me because I'll let you down. Just ask my wife. I will let you down when you least expect it. You will let me down when I least expect it because we're human beings. None of us is perfect. So we do all these things that are hurtful to others and are hurtful to ourselves. So what do we do? It's so wonderful we can think of spiritual issues which deals with forgiveness. I'm sorry, forgive me, I forgive you. Love, such a wonderful word. Genuine love where you put the other person first. And the Bible tells us to love others the way you would love yourself. So you've got to love yourself. You've got to believe and trust in something other than yourself. You've got to have a spiritual aspect of your life that will help you deal with stress because there's the Ten Commandments. The rules that God has put in store for us to have guidelines. Otherwise, we do things we shouldn't do. So those guidelines help. Don't lie. Don't kill. Don't steal. There's so much that we're told that needs to be taken seriously by people. And we're told that seek peace peacemakers. 
that's something that we want to be, we want to do. Help us, O oh Lord, find peace in this world in my heart so I can share it with you. And it begins again with looking at spiritual issues. Things are not, that are not physical, that are not seen. Things that come from the heart, from the spirit, from the mind, from the soul. The inner man, the part of you that nobody sees, the part of me that nobody sees. So it's important to remember, the first key to deal with stress, to let go of the past is begin to seek spiritual counsel, spiritual direction, spiritual insight into your own life, and to just live a life that highlights spiritual matters. Because when you do that, you think of others, you're more forgiving, and we mentioned love, which is the key to all of life. Remember that first key, develop and cultivate and seek that spiritual aspect of your life that will enhance your daily living. The second key that I propose to help you deal with stress and all these things around us is develop a sense of humor. <laughs> oh my God, when I laugh, when I play with the grandchildren, when I tickle them, when I tickle my wife. Don't do that too often though, unexpectedly. When I do things that are fun, tell a joke, sing in the shower, dance a little bit, do things that are fun. Stop being such a sourpuss, such an old crab, laugh. And you know what science tells us? When you laugh, your brain secretes endorphins, those feel-good hormones that make you just relax. They elevate your mood. Do you like to be around people that are crabby or do you like being around people that are happy, that are jovial, that make you feel relaxed, that bring a smile to your face and a smile is contagious. I do a lot of walking. I love to be outdoors. My wife and I just meet so many people on the road everywhere. And you know what? You smile at somebody, it lightens up everything. And you know, sometimes we have first impressions. You see something and you think this person is a certain way. Most of the time you're wrong. First impressions are usually wrong because we're basing it on our, our own opinions and what we see. You have absolutely no idea who that person is. But I guarantee you, when you start laugh, smiling at people, even laughing with them, they feel better. There's more friendship. There's so much that's good regarding laughter. It gives you a longer life, better health. Look at what science says. My first point is proven scientifically. Spiritual matters are so important. Number two, develop that sense of humor. The Bible tells us a merry heart is good like medicine. Makes you feel good. Laugh. Enjoy life. My third key is cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Do you know there's a science dev dev devoted to solely the thought of appreciation, being thankful. Science shows, and you can see around us, where people that are thankful are more pleasant, are more relaxed. Somebody opens the door for you, say, thank you, I appreciate that. When you're at the restaurant, the waiter brings you your meal, thank you for that. When you thank people, they smile, they feel good, the stress is lessened, and again, you don't know what people are going through. And I like to talk to waiters and waitresses. Everybody I see, I talk to, but in the restaurant, you get to know them. You talk to them. You find out so many things and you get to laugh and enjoy them. A relationship, socialization. So as you appreciate people, as you appreciate things, thank God for what you have. I'm so thankful because I'm healthy. I run, I dance, I joke, I do so much. That makes me feel good and I'm thankful to the good Lord. Now, I'm disciplined, so I work at what I have, so I'm thankful that I'm disciplined, I'm thankful that I'm able to be disciplined, and I'm thankful that I'm here. Because there's so much that I have to share with people, but you know what, it always has not been easy for me, it hasn't been easy for you. So many difficulties on the job, families, hurt, pain, illness, all these things that occur around us. But I promise you, I guarantee you, if you start 
thinking about burning your bridges and not looking back. Living in the present, not being concerned about what happened a year or five or ten years ago that's harming you and not being so anxious over what's going to happen tomorrow because you can't do anything about what's going to happen tomorrow anyway. All you can do is deal with what's happening in the current moment for today. As you look at that, as you attend to spiritual issues, do something for your spirit. Number two, remember, develop that sense of humor, laugh, read jokes, look at uh, comedy on TV. I like doing that. And the third key, being appreciative. As you're thankful, as you appreciate things, you develop a positive attitude. A positive attitude is great. It doesn't guarantee success, but a negative attitude guarantees failure. What do you want? Success or failure? Do you want peace in your life? Do you want to have good relationships? Do you want people to forgive you? You must first forgive them. You have to present a smile, laugh, enjoy people. Again, my name is Manny Gonzalez. My workshop is titled Three Keys to Survive a Mental Meltdown. As I mentioned, I wrote a book, Burn Your Bridges, Don't Look Back, focusing on how the past is harmful and hurtful if you continue to hang on to that. And these three keys that I present, you can look me up on www.speakingofstress.com. My email is speakingofstress at gmail.com. I'm on YouTube. I'm trying to share these insights that I've learned over probably over 50 years working in the field of relationships, in the field of counseling, in the field of therapy, in the field of just getting along with people, plus my own experiences as you have experiences. So thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate that and think about it. What is it that you can do to be less stressed, have more peace, and be more relaxed in your life? You will find that what I presented will be helpful to you. Thank you so much again. God bless you.